the last problem of section A here we have IPS again and this part needs to be built using only one feature so first we will make the sketch all the outlines and then extrude everything at once so let's go to SOLIDWORKS new part first of all let's change to IPS now let's start with sketch on the front plane on the center we will start with the circle that is on the end this would be 0.5 no sorry the, the radius is 0.4 so the diameter will be 0.8 now let's make the hexagon this is 0.5 and to constrain it just make this one line horizontal now let's draw a center line from this end let's draw a circle this uh, diameter also would be 0.8 as the radius is 0.4 let's uh, make a sketch from here and trim what we do not need can trim this and we also don't need this line now let's uh, give the dimensions this is 0.25 from this point to here it is 0.4 and the height from here is 0.25 that is half of 0.5 now from the sketch you can see that uh, this point aligns with the center of the circle you can see from the sketch so let's select this point press shift key select this point and make vertical now it is aligned and uh, now we can simply just select all of these lines then select this center line and mirror entities to mirror everything this is not constrained because we have not yet defined the distance of the center line We'll have that when we draw these lines. We don't need tangent, we just need a simple line. Now let's uh, select this line and the center line and mirror entities. The distance between the lines is given as 0.4. and this distance is given as 3.25 look now everything is constrained when we give this distance let's uh, trim what we do not need make the sketch closed sketch is complete now let's go to extrude and we have to extrude 0.3 inches so the part is ready now let's apply the material that is steel alloy cast alloy steel here it is apply close evaluate and mass properties let's check the results at the end of the PDF 
0.1447 pounds you can increase the decimal places so our answer is 0.1449 so that is very close and the error is very much less than 1% so the answer is correct so this was the last problem for section A we will move to section B in the next video so thank you